So how did you get started in the arts? Uh, drawing. Uh, drawing as a kid was, was my connection to it. And um, I, I had an actual, you know, a real love of drawing and running stories and creating uh, uh, environments for my imagination, collage, stuff like that. I did my first linoleum cut, I think, in junior high. Um, I think it, the imagery might have been Dungeons and Dragons related, but it was, uh, uh, I was always really into drawing. And when it came time when I got older, I came, sort of came of age and decided what I wanted to do. Um, illustration was something that, I, that really caught my attention, something I wanted to do. I, I wanted to do books and magazines and, and uh, uh, things like that. And, and I met a, a guy uh, in Kansas City by the name of Hugh Merrill, and, and he talked to me about that term. And he, he used a term called visual equivalence. And he talked about illustration. A lot of times illustration is a dirty word in the fine arts. And he talked about um, illustration becoming a visual equivalent for any concept or idea or, or uh, metaphor. And um, so the work really started to really become what I thought were visual equivalents of things I had heard, things I had seen, things I had uh, read. Um, and I drifted away from illustration into, um, I was always painting. And, uh, but I drifted into printmaking uh, basically on this guy's recommendation. And I fell in love with the graphic mark making of printmaking. I fell in love with um, working, uh, working with tools and materials to affect a certain mark um, and taking a chance. You kind of work on the matrix for a while and you develop it and then you take it to the press and you put ink on it and you print it and you hope to see that you've got what you, you, know, what you were shooting for. And there's always a little bit of a disconnect in terms of what you thought you were going to get and what you ended up with. Even when you, you have a lot of experience under your belt and feel like you can predict the results, it's always still exciting to see what, what you've got. Um, it was that that really, that really drew me to printmaking. I felt like um, coming from the Midwest and coming from a working class family, I felt like printmaking was, the, uh, was a trade, a good solid trade in the arts to be involved in. Uh, the life of a painter seemed um, uh, something other, something, something different.